Hey everyone, I'm Jordan with Inverter Service Center. Today I'm going to show you how to unbox and install your Victron BMV 712 battery monitor. So if you're ready, let's dive on in. All right, so we're going to open this up, show you what all comes inside. So first you get the owner's manual that comes with it. You get the communication cable. You have the shunt. And you have the display. Uh, the display comes with the mounting ring. The mounting ring is going to be able to be used if you're going to be able to get to the back of the place where you're going to mount it at. So you can thread it up behind there and then actually just thread it back on. If for some reason you can't get to the back of the wall where you're going to be mounting it at, you can just fish the wire is all. You're going to use this bezel instead. That's going to allow you to mount it to the wall itself and then just connect the cable to the back of it. Then you also got your two power supply wires that come with it. And then the mounting screws obviously for the bezel. Alright, so now we're going to show you how to hook it up to your battery bank. Alright, so we got a display built here so we can show everyone how to hook it up. Uh, you can see that on my display, I'm actually using the ring to mount it with because I'm able to access the back of it. Again, if you can't do that, you can always use this bezel instead. Of course, the bezel is going to get mounted to the front and then it holds your display against the wall and you're able to just plug in from the back of it. Um, and then you get your communication cable. The communication cable is going to run from the shunt right up here to the back of the display and you get plenty of cable to mount this display you know, a great length from the shunt if you need to. And then you've also got your power supply wires. One is going to be necessary. It's going to be connected to the positive side of the battery bank and it's going to go to the B1 terminal on the shunt. All right, and then you have an additional one as well if you want to use the accessory one. Uh, you can use it for monitoring like your starter battery voltage or a midpoint voltage if you have a really big battery bank for some reason. Um, and you want to make sure that the center of the battery bank is not deviated much from the end of the battery bank. All right, so we brought in our battery bank. We're going to show you how to connect everything up. So over here on the negative side, we're going to take a look. We've got two cables that are leading off of the negative side that are going somewhere else. Those are what's going to, have to be removed and moved over to the load side of the shunt. And then we're going to add a new cable that's going to come from that connection point down to the battery side of the shunt. So we'll go ahead and remove these two cables. And we're going to put our new cable we brought in back over to the negative side of the battery. And then the other end of that, like I said, is going to go to the battery side of the shunt. All right, now once you get on the battery side of the shunt, you're going to use an 11 16 to tighten that down. And then we're going to come back up and we're going to make sure we get this back good and tight. Alright, the two cables that we removed off of there, now those are going to go on the load side of the shunt. And then we're going to go ahead and tighten that side down too, again using the 11 16 uh, Then we mentioned the two power supply wires that you can use. Uh, what we didn't mention was the accessory temperature sensor, which is something we really like to use here. Uh, the temperature sensor is going to give you number one, obviously temperature of the battery bank. It's also going to give you the voltage of the bank too, which is what the one wire was going to do. So we're going to connect this up now. All right, and when you're connecting this up, I always start out with connecting it to the shunt first. Uh, so you're going to use the red wire that's on there to go into the B1 terminal on the shunt and the black wire into the B2 terminal. Again, if you're going to use this, this wire, the power supply wire, just plug it into the B1 terminal like we just did and the rest of this process is exactly the same. So we're gonna come up here with this cable and then we're gonna make sure we tighten that back down. All right, now we got our communication cable. So we're gonna run that from the shunt up to the display. So we'll take the one side of the communication cable and we're gonna plug it into the shunt. And the other side, we'll get plugged right into the back of the display here. And once you got connected up, your display should come on. All right, in the next video, we're going to show you how to program your battery monitor based on your specific battery type. 
If you got any questions about anything we did today, maybe something we left out, give our ABYC certified electricians a call at the number below. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and thanks for tuning in.